The 40th running of St. Patrick's Day Parade and 10th party of I, the Hoosier Lottery. As Eric Pointer reports, it's back now after being out the past two years because of the pandemic. Eric, people are ready to celebrate here this year. They are. They're ready, and it's a big deal for the organizers. They're excited to have it back. Now, I have never been to the parade before, but they tell me it's a big family-oriented experience. It started small, but now it has more than 100 different groups and organizations involved. Everything from marching bands to helium balloons and floats. And this year, returning after COVID hit, they want people to feel safe. I encourage everybody to come. You know, it's, it's all outdoors. It's all free and open to the public. So there's no, you don't have to buy tickets or anything for anything. Um, and, uh, you know, we'll welcome everybody. I think, you know, with uh, the COVID things the way they are, there's no real restrictions. We just ask everybody to, to do what they think is, is the right social responsible thing. Now the tents open at 9 o'clock on North Street between Pennsylvania and Meridian. Then the parade rolls at 1130 this morning. But those aren't the only events. Just to name a few, Downtown Indy Inc.'s Blarney Bash is back on Saturday. And the, in, the annual 5K Shamrock Run and Parade Walk is also coming back. And Westfield's annual Shamrock Drop is happening for its second time. Now I spoke to someone from Downtown Indy Inc. who says that they and businesses are excited to have these events back. Coming up in the next hour, hear more from them about the impact that they hope this will have.